Okay, so we're gonna finish off cars um, by working a little bit more on your shins, but also on your feet. So first thing we're going to do is lock your knee in place. Just interlock um, your one hand over top, one arm underneath, just so your knee can't move around. And from here, you're going to turn your foot inward as far as you can. Uh, for me, I am really limited in this range, so this is as far as I can go. And all you're going to do is extend your leg and bend it. Go for about three or four. And then you're going to go the other way. So you can see this way I have much more range. Everyone else will be individual. And then we'll switch sides. So one arm under, one arm over top. Just to make sure that knee is not moving around. Toe is in as much as you can. <laughs> Don't judge my lack of mobility here. <laughs> Three or four of these. Nice and slow and controlled. Foot is out. Excellent. And then we're going to move into your feet. So working on your toes. What you want to do is see if you can move your toes independently. This is really important for building up strength in your feet. And if you can't do it, don't worry, it will improve with practice. So just look at your feet. You're going to pick up your big toe and keep the other <laughs> toes down. Hi, Moxie. And then you're going to switch other way. So Moxie, that's enough. Not right now. Okay. So big toe up, other toes down, and then switch and repeat that three or four times. If you can't do it, just stare at your toes and try really hard. You will find if you do that every day that you will eventually be able to do it. Awesome, and now everything up and try to lower those toes one at a time. Try to raise them one at a time. Lower, raise, get one more time, lower raise and then squeeze all your toes together and then spread them wide see if i can show you here so they're wide together wide good working on all those toe muscles keeping nice healthy feet awesome and final thing you're just going to sit with your uh, legs straight and you're going to grab onto your kneecap and just move it around in a clockwise motion feeling for any sticky points or sore points three times in each direction other side move that patella around Excellent. So we just completed our whole way through the body, moving all your joints in the various directions, making sure that they have their full range of motion. And you should be, if you can, doing this every day to maintain your joint health. So thank you for joining me and I will see you next time.